November 11th, 2011. Gonna try something fun today. This is a remake of Jamie Buterf and Marco Rodin's Interference Coil. But we're not going to be using this today. Going to go a little bit bigger. A 24 inch lifesaver ring. This is a 12 pointed coil. One uh, wire is wound clockwise, the other is counterclockwise. This is a 120 point coil. One is wound clockwise, one is counterclockwise. In this coil, I wrapped one complete wire and then I wrapped the other complete wire. So you can see how they're, all the wires line up next to each other. But in this one, I did both of the wires at the same time, the counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. So I made a wicker basket type weave out of the two leaves. There's eight complete wraps in the big coil. Fourteen complete wraps in the little one. I have that thousand watt amp running the coil. That amp is good for like a three ohm load. Each wire in this coil is 49 ohms. Yeah, a little much. 1920 feet of wire per wire. 24 gauge magnet wire. So I should be able to hear that 432 hertz frequency. Coming from the laptop. Plug this in, goes into the RCA cables, into the amp, should come through the coil. Let's try making this move with low frequencies. Let's try one hertz. Nope, nope, not affecting it. Let's try three hertz. Not affecting it. All right, back to 432. Now I'm going to drop that big magnet in the center. Can you hear that? It's working. If I could put some of these magnets
know if it's making a difference. It's not making that much of a difference from that angle. Let's try a different magnet. This one. If I had a magnet as big as the center, uh, I think that would be pretty loud. So I have the amp turned up considerably high. Amp is room temperature. Coil's cool. That's all the way up. It's about 75% of the way up. had something to resonate on top of it. That's even louder. Let's try 432 hertz in the left channel, 512 in the right. Well, now that this works, what I'm going to do is I got this crystal growing kit and I'm going to see if the rate of growth of the crystals is affected inside the coil versus somewhere else in the house, not near a magnetic field. I'm going to be using the frequencies that Jamie Buterf and Marco Roden used to treat John Fiala of third degree burns. And I have the link down in the video description of that claim and of the presentation at the Tesla Technology Conference. The coil that Jamie Buterf used was this interference coil, just like this. So if this really works, let's do it and see what happens. So I'm going to test and see um, if these crystals grow faster, if the sh uh, shape is changed at all, or if anything happens. And I want to do the same thing, growing plants or something in the center with these frequencies going maybe an hour or three hours a day. Then I want to double and triple stack these and submerge them in water and do a bunch of different experiments. So if these can work underwater, as I've shown and other people on the internet have shown, then could these be used as a fishing lure? So if you can record the sounds of a certain fish during a feeding frenzy, and then you can play those sounds back through the coil in a lake or something. 
I'm thinking that those particular fish might be attracted to the coil, thinking that there is a feeding frenzy around. And they'll come right up to the coil. Or you can play sounds of killer whales or dolphin noises, and it might get rid of sharks in the area or something. I don't know. Might need to test those things out. But there are many uses for these coils. A speaker, a magnetic massage, um, antenna. You can spin magnets really quickly. And it's a piece of art. It's beautiful to look at. So I encourage other people to try to make their own. Uh, add me on facebook.com slash verbelli, V-E-R-B-E-L-L-I. Look at all of the information in the video description, and uh, let's talk about this and give me some ideas so that I can test them out and film them.